You've been lied to over and over again. They say DaVinci Resolve is great for color, great for editing, but for serious motion graphics, for real VFX, you need After Effects. But what if I told you everything After Effects can do, Resolve can do too. And in some cases, it does it better. By the way, I'm Ethan. I've done millions of views with the content that I've made across various channels, and this video editing thing I do is all I do all day long. Let's start with the root problem. Legacy. After Effects has been around since 1993. It was one of the first consumer accessible compositing tools. Tutorials, plugins, entire career pipelines were built on it. So for decades, the advice became editing, use Premiere. Compositing, use After Effects. And color, use DaVinci. That was the holy trinity. But that advice hasn't caught up with reality. Fusion inside of DaVinci Resolve is not just a color grading tools compositor. Fusion predates Resolve integration. It's a fully professional, node-based compositing engine used in actual Hollywood productions. And once you learn nodes, you realize layers are holding you back. Let's rip the band-aid off. Can Fusion actually handle the stuff After Effects is famous for? Let's get surgical. Adobe diehards love to say Fusion sucks for motion graphics. After Effects has better shape tools, better expressions, better templates. Here's where it gets nuanced. Fusion absolutely handles motion graphics. Shapes, fully procedural with Boolean ops. Text, animatable with character level control, node modifiers, expressions, and connectable parameters. The difference is the interface. After Effects favors instant gratification. Drag, drop, click, keyframe. Fusion forces you to think in systems, connections, dependency, hierarchy. For basic lower thirds, After Effects is faster out of the box. For complex, scalable, dynamically linked graphics, Fusion's node structure crushes it. Once you stop thinking layers and start thinking nodes, you unlock control that After Effects users don't even know that they're missing. But motion graphics is small potatoes. The real test? VFX and compositing. Let's talk raw compositing power. Fusion is built for what After Effects pretends to handle. Rotoscoping. Fusion's planar tracker and mask nodes destroy After Effects' clunky rotobrush. 3D camera tracking, native and robust. Keying, Delta Keyer, Ultra Keyer, Primat, world-class tools. Optical flow time remapping, baked into Resolve. And let's not forget, Fusion can ingest 32-bit EXR sequences with true linear compositing, not gamma-hacked workarounds like After Effects' legacy pipeline. This is why Fusion's used in feature films, not just YouTube templates. It handles 10-bit, 12-bit, 16-bit float data in real time. It was designed for broadcast and cinema. After Effects was designed to make animated lower third for TV promos in 1995, and it's still wearing that DNA. Now, let's address the real elephant, plugins and third-party ecosystems. After Effects has one undeniable edge, plugin and template economy. From Red Giant to Video Copilot to Motion Array, there's an army of third-party tools that shortcut After Effects' limitations. Fusion, much smaller third-party scene. But ask yourself, why do you need $500 worth of plugins for After Effects? It's because the base toolset is shallow. Fusion ships with tools that After Effects users have to buy. Advanced keyers, clean plate generators, true 3D workspace, and procedural particle systems. Most of what After Effects users buy plugins for, Fusion just does. But let's talk workflow, because that's where Resolve becomes a monster. This is where DaVinci starts to eat Adobe alive. In Resolve, your entire pipeline lives inside of one project file. Cut your edit, composite directly in Fusion, grade with the industry's best color tools, mix in Fairlight, export in delivery. No round tripping, no dynamic link crashes, no media relinking headaches. One file, one engine, one database. Every time you move between Adobe apps, you're introducing failure points. Resolve, fully integrated. Even GPU acceleration is consistent across modules. But I know what you're thinking, industry standards, job postings, client expectations, Let's go there. The main reason Adobe remains dominant isn't capability. It's inertia. Studios have legacy After Effects projects. Freelancers buy templates. Schools still teach Adobe first. But the tide is turning. Netflix approved Resolve pipelines. Blackmagic cloud collaboration. Hollywood level color grading becomes mainstream. Resolve becoming a full stack post-production suite. Fusion isn't the After Effects alternative. It's a fundamentally different beast. Faster. Deeper. More scalable. The truth, After Effects isn't better. It's just more familiar. Resolve with Fusion can do virtually everything After Effects can. And in high-end workflows, it often outperforms. The only thing holding most editors back is comfort. Stop listening to the people who haven't actually used Fusion and start exploring what's possible when you finally leave layers behind. Hey y'all, it's Editing Ethan here. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and taking the time to hear what I have to say about this project and this, this topic. Uh, if you have anything to add to this, if you have anything that you want to contribute to the conversation, leave it down in the comments below. I'll try to respond to all the comments that I can. And if you like this video, leave it a like. Subscribe for more videos like this. we got tutorials on the channel as well.
and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.